Hello YouTube, this is my new video of my updated GSM alarm. I redesigned the PCB with this in mind. And now the GSM module is sitting between the PCB and the OLED display. Backside is open or flat, which makes it easier to get with my USB adapter to the pins to upload new code. Plus, my new USB adapter is not new, but I have two versions, one with for 5 volt and one for 3.3 volt, because a 5 volt USB adapter would kill the GSM module, because it can only take 4.4 volts maximum. This board has a voltage reducer on there, a diode, so you can run it with 5 volts and I show you how it how the code looks like well the code didn't change it's still the same I supply the code with the unit here so you can change the phone numbers and change whatever you want to display on it what you can also do is it still has the three LEDs on the board and it runs with 5 volts right now on my battery pack here and you have here the navigation button up down and push in and I also take out the wires for the sensors you can connect to those switches you have this one ground and then three inputs that you can connect three different sensors to it or switches or read switches or um, how you call them when you walk by they go on anyhow this is the unit here what you can also do is because once you mount this somewhere and you don't need the OLED display you can just take it off and I show you that real quick those screws are just threaded into the PCB and you can take them out like this with the Allen wrench whoops flew away YouTube's gonna complain about a shaky video <laughs> I need a little shorter screws those are 16 I need 14 okay and then you just take this off and now you have a ultra slim GSM alarm the sim card goes in like this one second I need to take it out of the other one okay where is it here you see here very faint the SIM logo anyhow the cut corner goes in the top right position obviously the pins are down here so this is how you put it in and that's it it clicks in clicks out all right this is how you you can do this of course when the all oh, that displays on top of here it still has plenty of room to do that all right now I show you how to upload code let me unplug this here real quick so you connect my USB adapter with the pogo pins to your computer with the micro USB cable like this uh, you see it coming up you open the Arduino IDE, select Arduino Uno as, a, as the board with the correct COM port and then all you need to do is you see here 3.3 volt and that's the bottom here the bottom pin and you just hold it on here and then you can upload code to it let me show you again I think I was out of the picture here okay let's see here the 3.3 volt pin is down here this is it the bottom one 
right behind the navigation switch and the 3.3 is down here also and all you do is you can what you can do is open the code click upload and while it's compiling you can come and hold this down here and then it's gonna upload the code and once it says done uploading you take it away as simple as that anyhow and this is how the unit looks like now I can put the OLED screen on here take the screws on my first version when I made those small PCBs I had big holes and then I was using nuts to hold the screws now I have it the right size where you can just thread it in and it makes it so much easier am I in the picture? I'm not looking on the phone Okay, and this unit is sold and goes to the United Kingdom, England. Anyhow, this is it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. How you, how do people do this down here? <laughs> and these are for sale on Tindy. And uh, let me just show real quick what I else what else I have. This is my GPS tracker. This is a GPS tracker only. I will have uh, something else coming up. I will tell you in a second. Here is the micro SD card. And this GPS tracker tracks with the uh, GPX format, data format which you can just drag and drop onto Google Earth and then you see it where you have been, at what time, what speed, what date, everything and I can adjust this that it logs once every second up to once every minute or even longer if you need to do that these are also for sale on Tindy and I have much more pictures over there there is also an Android app that you can use which works just like Google Earth and this was the tracker oh yes I will have another version coming up with the GPS and a an GSM module basically these things combined of course it's not going to be this big because there's going to be only one of the PCB and it will not have a micro SD card but this is basically how it's gonna look like just not as as thick it's gonna be a little slimmer and with that you can use your phone send an MS SMS to this unit and then it's gonna send you back the location of where it is and it will be a true GPS not like the cheap ones you can buy on eBay where it says GPS, GSRM, GSM tracker which they just triangulate your location based on the cell towers which is of course, I mean it's not a tracker, it's just a roughly positioning of where you are but nothing like a real GPS tracker anyhow, that's gonna be it do I have anything else to say? looking around here no I think this is it anyhow oh let me show you this thing this is one of my OLED scopes and it's just perfect for breadboard mounting you can it comes like this normally you plug in here your wires like these here and since I don't want to have this thing flying around on the table I just connected it here on the breadboard and I plug it in and then here you go oscilloscope for your breadboard
these are also on sale on Tindy and anyhow if you made it this far I see it's been 10 minutes already if you made it this far thanks for watching take care and enjoy your life thanks for watching again bye